Okay, I have no idea for the dimensions on this thing. I'm just going to kind of wing it. Uh, let's start off with a ring. And it looks pretty thin, so I don't know. Let's go 20 radius, wall thickness 2. Get all the sides. Start with that. Drag a rectangle in. Um, if that's too... I'm looking for the where the lines don't make sense, where they kind of get fuzzy like that. Tells me it's at the same on the same plane. Uh, maybe eight. I don't know. Let's find out. I'm gonna drag a ruler down just anywhere, and I'm going to make sure it's on uh, midpoint. Midpoint will, and it's confusing because it tells you what you'll change it to. So in point or when I click use midpoint, now it's on midpoint. Midpoint finds the middle of those objects. So I can zero those out to center these objects against that point, which is important. Um, let's see here. I center these. Does that look about right? Yeah, it's close enough. Make that a little bit longer, like 150, I don't know. Need to hollow it out because there's something hollowing that out. Whatever's hollowing it out is pretty small. So I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate this. And let's make it maybe four by five. Center that. No, that's not right. It needs to be taller and thinner. Three by five. Nope, two by five. Two. And center. Close enough. Make that a hole. And you've got these lines that go the top and bottom so i'm going to take my ring i'm going to control d duplicate that and actually first thing i need to do to make that five and then i'm going to hit d to drop it so it's down and it looks like these are going to stagger out so make the radius, I don't know, 30. Twenty-five. Yeah, twenty-five is probably fine. I'm gonna click off of it and click it again when I hit duplicate this time because I've clicked away from it. I've cleared my duplication queue. I don't think changing the radius will work. But if I duplicate it again, no, it's not gonna work. Duplicate's pretty cool because it will remember the action you took last and then repeat it for you. But it looks like it doesn't do that for rings. Uh, let's grab this one now. Duplicate it. I'm going to hit W for work plane. Click here and then hit D to drop it. That just lines it up perfectly on that plane. Uh, hit W again. Click away from that. Uh, make that 30. Okay, that works. Click away, duplicate, 40, duplicate, 50, duplicate, and 60. Again, I have no idea what I'm making. I'm just making something that looks similar. Eh, maybe close enough. I don't know. Uh, what I'm going to do now is draw a box that touches both of these, the hole that's in the middle and this one, this is where duplicate comes in handy. Hit Control D to duplicate it. I'm going to rotate it by 45 degrees and hit Control D twice more. And it rotates it again for me automatically. Pretty neat. Uh, we need to hollow out the middle. So I'm going to grab a sphere and I'll make it a, or a cylinder and we'll make it a different color just so we know what it is. 
it needs to have all the sides, which unless you go into custom shapes, you can only go up to 64 sides, so things will not be very round. This ring, what is it? Radius is 20, thickness is two, so that's what, like 38? And we'll zero it to put it in the middle. Nope, that was off 37. 36? Yeah, 36. I can't do math, it's late. Just for good measure, I'm going to drop that through a little bit, turn it into a hole. Now if I grab all my rings, make them holes, and control A for everything, and group. Looks pretty close. You've got some circle features in the middle that we need to replicate. Uh, yeah, so I'll drag a cylinder in here. Give it all the sides, rotate it over, and zero that. Now it's in the middle, so that works. I have no idea what size this thing is supposed to be. Uh, oops, wrong one. I want U to be five. Yeah, maybe. And make that 38. Make it a different color just so we can see what we're doing. Nah, it's too big, 37. And since I'm working with, again, I put this into midpoint, it's keeping this part centered. If I had it in endpoint mode, it would be working from one of those ends. Since this is a circular pattern, it's easy to do with endpoint. Um, let's rotate you there. Duplicate you. Where'd my marker go? That one. There. Duplicate, duplicate. I think that's about right. Make those holes, grab everything, group it again. I, I think that's about as close as I'm going to get without putting a lot more effort into this. Um, obviously, I messed up right here. Those don't go all the way through, which I can fix that. If I ungroup everything, ungroup everything again, this is where it gets... Actually, wait, I'm going to go back. I'm going to grab these pieces and hide them. Uh, where's hide? I know it's control H. I just don't remember where the hide button is. Anyway, it's control H. I'm going to hide those. I don't want to mess with those right now. Ungroup these. And I'm going to select everything except that center ring and group it. Yeah. And now I'm going to select everything again and group it. Now... Control Shift H, unhide those. Select everything, Control A, Control G to group. There we go, looks better. I mean, again, I don't have dimensions, so I'm just kind of goofing off with this, but I think that's about it's about as close as I can make it. These look a little bit thick, maybe they could be thinner. I don't know. Yeah. That's basically what I got.